Hey, how's it going? My name's Cam, and I'm going to walk you through in probably about four or five minutes the sort of key things you need to know to start using FX Dreamer. Uh, I've been using it for maybe four or four years, three to four years, maybe even longer. Uh, I can't even remember. Uh, I use it pretty much all the time to do my uh, EA builds, and I'm building EAs every week. Uh, I want to show you guys some sort of I suppose because there's no real videos out there that show you how to use it, I want to show you how to just get yourself started because getting yourself started is probably half the battle. Once for those that are pretty, you know, tech savvy, get it. You're going to be able to just start and um, grow from here. Those that are struggling, I do have a course that I do uh, where I do walk through not just how uh, how to use it, but I show you how I use it, and I've come up with. A very unique way to, I suppose, save yourself a whole lot of time. It means that you can create robots at will. Um, these things took me years to come up with, basically. Uh, so I've got a course. I'll, I'll talk you through the course at the end of this video. I've also got a, a membership thing as well that I'll talk you through as well. So today I'm just going to quickly walk you through the key things to know so you can get yourself started with FX Dreamer if you're new to it. Even if you aren't new to it, you might learn a thing or two that you didn't realize because it's one of these things, there's so much stuff hidden away in this little dashboard that you'll be you surprise yourself all the time. Now, it's, and as I said, it took me ages to find all these little little quirks. Uh, now I've found them, I, I build EAs in a certain way and I, I teach people how to do that as well. So let's get started, guys. I'm gonna try and do this within five minutes. Uh, I'll go through a number of different things. I'm not gonna go through everything because it does take a while to get through everything, but hopefully what I do go through is useful and you can uh, use it to get yourself started. Right, oh, and before I start, uh, there is one other thing. Um, I do have a, tr a podcast. So I've got a podcast where I actually interview traders who trade professionally, and I sort of use that to, I combine it with my membership to, to try and give, um, I suppose, get ideas for trading strategies, and, and also just education as, as a trader as, as a whole. Now, it's over there at tradingnut.com. Or sort search for trading nut on uh, any of your podcasting apps. It's on YouTube as well. Okay, so guys, 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 let's get started. So the first thing is, if you're going to start a new project, so the first thing, I mean, usually it gives you the default template here, which you can just get underway, and I think it's got uh, the title untitled here. Um, but if you want to create a new project, click on uh, projects. We we'll actually just hover over projects, click on new project. Now you've got a few options. You've got Expert Advisor, MetaTrader 4, you could change that to MetaTrader 5. And I'll do another video showing you how I transfer MetaTrader 4 uh, robots to MetaTrader 5 and vice, vice versa, uh, if that's the sort of thing you want to do. Uh, you can also create scripts for both MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5. Now, what's the difference between a script and a, an Expert Advisor? Well, a script executes once and an Expert Advisor ex executes over and over again. So scripts... Uh, you drag onto your chart and drop it, and it would run based on the parameters you set, and it would run once. Okay, so I use a few scripts in my trading, uh, and you know, if Extrema has come in handy to build those scripts. So we're going to talk through Expert Advisors today. A slightly different dashboard for scripts. Expert Advisors. So the next thing you want to know is to name it. You click on that, change the name, click done. Uh, and that will save it. Sometimes it can be a little bit funny here when you're doing that. Just bear with it. You'll get there. The second thing is this area up here. Now this area uh, has a number of different options. I'm not going to go through all of those in detail, but this is the one you're going to want to stick on and do most of your building on for your robots to trade. Okay, if you start jumping into the other ones, you're going to find weird stuff happening. This is the one on tick, so stay on that one. Uh, you've got system and you've got custom, and these are talking about the blocks. So it defaults to system. Click on custom. You can actually build custom bot blocks, and there's a, a link. Here we go down the bottom. Create a custom block, and you can do that if you wish. <clears throat> uh, so we're going to stick on the system ones here. As you can see, there's dozens and dozens of, well, there's sorry, just over a dozen options here, and each of these has a number of different blocks that you can pull onto the dashboard here uh, underneath. And just to show you how the search works, if you type something in the search, 
you're going to get a whole bunch of options here and it's going to save you hunting around for some of the blocks that you're looking for so how do they work so if we just grab a block so let's slow that down hover over click your mouse and drag it across to the dashboard un click your mouse so just drop it um, as you can see when I hovered over you've got that little question mark that pops up if you click on that sometimes you get a blocked message up here or sorry up above uh, in your browser saying it's blocking the pop-up so this is a pop-up and this gives you information as to how that block works so you can read through that sometimes it's useful sometimes it's not so useful um, but that should give you a head start anyway now this block here uh, to Get access to the controls you can double click on it that will then pop up the information in here now before we go into that to start off with if you right click on it you get more options as well so you can edit the title so if you want to make that um, more user friendly <laughs> let's do a proper title you can call it something more user friendly and click done right click on it again you can resize it if you want to make it smaller if you've got too many blocks um, you can click on that to make it bigger again although that sometimes doesn't work you can see there it doesn't work sometimes I don't know why it doesn't work sometimes but that's just what happens let's right click on it again I'm not going to try and get it to work here I'm just going to drag another block on and delete that one and to delete you just go like that delete you've got another thing detach we won't go into that wait to pass we won't go into that there's all these other options here most of them you can sort of work out cut and copy you can copy the block paste it now if we want to connect two blocks you've got two things here so ignore the one at the top to connect you grab the ones at the bottom that's a true and that's a false okay so that means the block is passed true that means the block is passed false if you leave the false empty then it just doesn't go anywhere um, that one is obviously going to give you uh, a positive outcome so in this case the moving average indicator 5 period was above the 20 period moving average indicator okay so what else can I tell you to delete that you could click on that and go okay the other way to do it is to right click on this and go detach okay so that gets you those two things here um, the other way to do uh, to change things is you can uh, or I suppose undo things is you can go back here in history and go delete block it's going to delete that block and you can actually redo it if you want to uh, add that again toggle that on and off just click it and it toggles on and off that tells you how much how many days you've got left in your FX Dreamer. if you are on a free account you can make 10 connections what does that mean it means you can have that's one connection so you can have 10 of those so you could connect that again or that's two connections okay I believe it's 10 that you can limit uh, that you're limited to at, at which point you cannot save and saving is this option here click on that that pops it up you just want to save that into your uh, experts folder in MetaTrader and that will give you the robot to then trade and once you're in MetaTrader just hit uh, right click on that go refresh and you're gonna see that in your uh, list of robots now if you don't if you're on MetaTrader 5 slightly different I think you've got to restart the platform to to get access to that right I think that's probably all I can show you for now oh no I'll show you a couple more things one is um, if you you've got you can delete this block here by going delete block um, you can update the parameter so if we said seven instead of five we can go update that's going to give us seven so next time we open that block it's going to stay seven if we click on this little pin thing this took me ages to work out <laughs> and to be honest I never use it um, you can go update and that block stays there instead of disappearing whereas if we update this one and go 10 click update and it disappears another couple of little things you can use your uh, scrolly thing on your mouse to move that number up and down you see that so that can save you a bit of time and uh, if you're unsure of what this actually is going to do you can click on that if it hover if it goes orange you can see what it, it says here and it tells you a little bit about that particular setting so that can give you some information as to how that operates oh geez um, let's just close it off I think that's it I think that's it that should be enough to get you guys started if you're new to FX Dreamer now if you do want to look at my course so it's a 21 day course 
I teach you pretty much everything you can possibly do and all the tricks and all the hacks that I've come up with uh, through my years of working with uh, FX Dreamer. Now, I'm going to show you some of those things that it can do just quickly. So here are some of the things that you're going to be able to do after doing my course. And it takes 21 days to get there. I've done a 21-day course, condensed it in. It's drip-fed learning. It's a great course. It's actually my second version of the course. The first version I didn't think was that good. Um, you do get this first version of the course as a bonus. The second version is a better way of teaching it. I get rid of all of the time-wasting stuff that you're going to do with FX Dreamer. Clean it all back, and I show you, out of all those blocks, I show you the blocks that I use all the time. There's only a few that you need to use, so you don't need to use them all. In fact, if you start using a lot of them, you're just going to... Uh, cause your robot to either slow down or you're going to get confused and, and all this sort of stuff. So I teach everything I know about using this. So by the end of it, you're literally just flying through and most robots take me, in all honesty, most robots take me less than half an hour to build. And that's probably being, sometimes it's even less than that. Uh, the more complex ones, depending on how you build it, can be sort of an hour or so, okay? But it's it's pretty quick. All right, so what can we do here? Multi, uh, multi-indicator multi strategy, so yep, MAs, RSI, ATRs, MACDs, whatever you want, okay? Custom indicator strategy, so we can do those as well. Drawing trend lines, zones, support and resistance lines, everything, guys. Um, Multi-symbol strategies, you know, if you want to use DAX plus S&P plus gold, you can do a strategy based on that. I teach you how to do it. Um, trading candlestick patterns, multiple time frame strategies. I know that's a big one that a lot of people like. Uh, moving stops to break even, trailing stops, virtually any method. I've got a special trailing stop that you'll learn if you do the next thing I tell you about. Um, Close trades orders before red news. Yep, so we can actually avoid news. Or red news, we can avoid orange news, you can avoid uh, low risk news, any news you want. Uh, I'll show you how to do that. Fixed pips or fixed money, stop loss and take profit targets, percentage based risk management, average true range, stop loss, take profit targets, uh, grid, martingale, Ryan Jones strategies, I mean they're all built in there anyway and I'll just show you how you use them, uh, Fibonacci retracement or extension strategies, oh the list goes on, okay, dynamic stop loss or take profit levels, honestly this is just a small part of what's possible and in 29 days you'll have the skills to build all of the above and more and look trust me it is more, you can pretty much do anything, so that's my, I call that my robot builders club um, and there it goes there, you've got um, Turn, you can actually do it for MT4 or MT5. There's very little difference. It looks like there's a big difference, but there's very little difference. I do all my building in MT4. But if you're MT5, it's so easy to convert. And I'll do another video on showing you how to do that anyway. Here's one of my guys that's gone through. Um, I did an interview with him on my podcast. And it shows you how, uh, how he has found success learning what I taught him and, uh, and how he went on to build a, a profitable trading robot. Okay guys, so you can jump over there to tradingnut.com. I'll put links underneath this so you can see how it all works. The other one I've got, now this is for pretty more an entry level um, for somebody who's not really, I suppose, deep into wanting to learn how to build with FX Dreamer, but wants to have a go with trading robots and see some of the stuff that I've created. So this is called the Robot Traders Club, and it's different from the Robot Builders Club. But if you're a Robot Builders Club member, so what I've just shown you, and you join up to this as well, or in actual fact, you get access to this when you join up. It's a subscription. Um, you can cancel at any time. And you get to see, you get to import the source code of these robots into the FX Street, your own FX Streamer, and you can see how I built them. So these are new trading robots to tr that I've add in every month. Sometimes I add one. Sometimes they add multiple. This month, I've just happened to add, I think, three to the club. They they get added to the lab. We test them. There's a chat room. We talk about them. We see the back tests. We work out if they're going to graduate or not. If they graduate, they get moved to graduate status, which means I put them on a live account. 
Uh, and then they get drip fed with your membership. So the longer you're a member, the more you get, that sort of thing. Um, there's more information on the page here. You're going to learn the strategy behind each robot as well. So if anything, you're going to learn a new strategy at least once a month. You're going to see how that strategy performs so you can get rid of the, I suppose, the... Uh, the fact that you need to go back and manually backtest this, you can see what the results are like across a number of years of data. Um, sharing ideas with other members, obviously, there's a membership uh, component and a chat room, which is fairly active, so you guys can see what other guys are doing. And then, as I said, you can access the best performing robots. They're, they're drip fed one by one with your membership each month. Okay, 14 day free, uh, 14 day trial. Um, yeah, you get access to that as well. Very low cost uh, entry level, as I said. So, guys, check out that page. They're over there at tradingnut.com. If you click on the robots thing in the top nav or auto trading on the homepage, you'll get these options here. So, you can build your own robots with FX Dreamer, learn that course, or you can do the trading uh, robot, robot traders club, which is have robots built for you. Okay, guys. So, and as I said, I've got, got the podcast, so you can subscribe to the podcast here it's on youtube as well there's other videos on youtube where i walk through uh, some of the strategies i've got up on the club and 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 what else is there oh there's um videos i've got there where my guests on the trading nut podcast have come on and shown me their strategies and walk you through some of their strategies as well so good stuff to check out man this went on for a little bit longer than i expected this is the first of probably a few uh row uh fx dreamer videos that i'll put out there hopefully you found it useful go back have another look if you're unsure of how to use fx dreamer and you're wanting to get into it because this is sort of like the very very basic level of getting into it as i said it goes much deeper than this i'll do some more videos uh guys so if you got comments in the first let me know and, and i'll see if i can answer them all right see ya bye